Kun Kun is the fourth generation of Chinese artists. One has to understand that in China, modernism did not exist. What makes him special is that he refers to the globalism of today's world. He puts together the West and the East. When you look at these pieces, you find that on one side, the artist refers to the sublime in the work of Rothko and Barney Newman of the 20th century of the Western world. He puts the works he makes in the context of today where he's using the structure the Chinese government is using to filter trash perfectly. It's already in the public areas where people know where to put in the trash and he's using the cheap production China has in the world and makes China a supplier for every, let's say, more or less less expensive product in the world and puts this kind of information together in painting objects. He puts them into this kind of 19th century classical golden frames but once you go close, you find out everything is cheap, everything is fake, everything is a kind of a, a reproduction of that idea. Of course, it's political. Once someone analyzes the paintings, you find out that there is always imperfection. He gives you the grits, which is known in the generations before, which is known in the Chinese culture, and he gives you a hint between the Western part, like Barnett Newman or Rothko or even the Bauhaus, together with what the people are so proud of, of his generation now, which is industry, which is a day-to-day -day life, which is super modern, and it's getting more and more modern. He just uses in his paintings, A, the billboards, and B, how trash in the public area is filtered and is used by the people of China. <laughs>